When people are dealing with complex chronic illness, it's really discouraging to them when they're getting better and then they have a setback. Um, sometimes they've improved you know, 30% and then they flare. They've improved 50% or 80% and they flare. And what I've found is that almost no matter how far along someone's come, when they have a big flare and if it's lasted for more than a few days, you know, if it's a week or two or longer, um, it, it's equally disappointing whether they're you know, 80% better and then flared or 20% and then flared or whatnot, or better and then flared or whatnot. Um, and what I... In those situations, um, uh, what I've found is that um, two things. One is that it doesn't typically take a whole lot of time and effort um, to figure out how to get the patient out of the flare. When you've already made that headway, we can look back, figure out you know what went wrong, what were what was the exposure, what was the the thing that tipped the apple cart, and then get things back on track relatively efficiently. And what I've also found is that when flare ups do happen, we oftentimes learn something really valuable about what caused that flare, how to get it back on track, and then it can actually better guide us figuring out what to do next to actually see further improvement. So as much as we try to avoid flares as much as possible, they're not fun, the silver lining is that they're typically treatable in a timely fashion and they can help us to actually crack the case at the end of the day.